If I were a rich crow, I wouldn't have to scavenge for nuts and berries all day. I wouldn't have to avoid oncoming cars or be chased away. I would just bathe and splash in a fountain of water or fly over the ocean, hang on the utility wires and play. Yabba dabba do, hey hey, yabba dabba dee, he he. I would build a big nest, make that six big ones way up high on sturdy branches made from grass, leaves, and twigs, lined with moss, flowers, and fur, and a big screen TV to watch Animal Planet and the thorn birds. I'd fill my nest with babies and all sorts of edible crap, candy wrappers, stale brioche, and holla, a Philly cheesesteak, nachos, and curly fries, Bibbidi bibbidi bop, bibbidi boo, boobidi boobidi doo. And my rich wife, my rich crow wife, Lady Bird, with her queenly beak and presidential tail, would supervise ravens and pigeons day and night, and eat gourmet bird feed to her heart's delight. If I were a rich crow, I'd be the wisest bird of them all. All the other birds would do my scavenging, bring me their questions and concerns, like Buddha or Gandhi with wings. God of the crow, I ask, would be so wealthy be so bad if I were as rich as a rock of feather or a Mark Zuckerberg? Would it spoil your universal plan if I were a wealthy crow? Biddy biddy bum, call call, squawk squawk, diddy diddy do, splat splat, awk awk. <laughs>